Are you looking at staying at the lodge at Wakula Springs? I am here at it right now. I want to show you guys all around because this place is amazing. We got a fantastic night's sleep here last night. So I'm going to give you guys the full tour. So you're going to walk in through your walkway here. You have your sign letting you know that the lodge is this way. There is so much history behind this building too. It's so cool. It was built in the 1930s, 1937 I believe. And it's got this Mediterranean architecture texture that it was uh, utilized after or, you, you know made after but you're gonna push open your door here and you beautiful lobby right here nice fireplace grand piano they serve breakfast and dinner in the restaurant right there which we had a great time eating both of those at and then also down this way is the gift shop and they also have a old-fashioned soda fountain in there which we are gonna get to later on today we tried it two years ago it's amazing but longest marble countertop and they also have the stuffed alligator right here now also check out the elevator <laughs> this thing is pretty sure original hello <laughs> thank you sliding wood door right there then you're gonna press your button just two stories that like shuts on you and then you ride on up and then whenever we get out we're gonna open. this thing is amazing I love it love the old-time fixture in here I love all the wood on the back you can see the cables through there so cool so we're gonna slide open our door and we are in room 34, so let's go find room 34. All the way on down this way. Nice long hallways. I actually have Wi-Fi that they have here, which is nice. This is your key to get into the room. So we're gonna head on down. And so you have two locks here, a deadbolt and a handheld one. But open this up. And this is our room right here. We had the double bed right here. So we had one right here, one right here. You have a thing in the middle, which is always nice. Be able to put your things down on. It's got this old, this looks like an old time style lamp right here. It's got the two little switches on there to flick them on. Thought that that was real nice. Lots of windows in here too. You have one right here and then two over here. So if you want, you like to wake up with the sun, you can, but if not, you can close your blinds. There's those nice wooden style blinds too that kind of roll up like that. I find that those do better than uh, some of the other styles of blinds out there. Your mattress here is a beauty rest mattress, which I'm finding that I am liking beauty rest mattresses. I have one of their pillows already and uh, it's just an awesome mattress. This thing was so comfortable, nice and plush, good thick inner spring right there. So I got a great night's sleep on that thing. And then they have this sleep zone uh, plushy thing on top, whatever you call those. Got a great night's sleep. I slept on this side of the bed right here. Wish that they had a double queen in the place, but I don't think they have double queens. I don't think they offer it. The best they have is the, the uh, double two doubles or you can get the king and the queen they do have a room that has pull outs which we didn't know that until after we had booked it and everything was all booked up so make sure to get your reservation early if you want to do that now looking out at the window you can see the roofing tiles and whatnot which is super cool since it's that mediterranean style and then your spring is out that way which is super nice. You do have a nice large area right here in the middle of the room, which is great for us because we had a toddler that slept right here. We brought some extra blankets and whatnot, and he we've got a good night's sleep. He slept all through the night right there. Our other two kids slept in this bed right here, and they told me that they got a great night's sleep. In fact, they slept longer than I did, which usually it's the opposite way around, which tells me that they got a good night's sleep. Uh, nice little reading chair, lamp. Little mini fridge right here, little Ken Moore. Just something to be able to put all your snacks in or maybe your leftovers from breakfast or lunch, uh, breakfast or dinner. Then you have this 
nice big desk right here, which you can utilize as like an office desk, a place to throw down stuff, kind of how we did. You also have some drawer space right here as well. So if you want to organize some of your clothing, we were just staying here one night. So we decided to just kind of throw everything into this nice big closet right here. So you have your uh, ironing board and your iron right there. It's a nice good size shelf across the top. You have two luggage racks right here that you can utilize. And then you still have all this extra space right here for the rest of your stuff. Just kind of a room to throw down all your stuff in. So that was fantastic. I really like how in this uh, lodge, you can just kind of walk in, throw down your stuff, and literally walk out to the natural springs that's out there and go do like jumping off the diving board or the swim areas and all that type of stuff. Or if you want to take the boat tour, which we did yesterday, that was super cool. It's actually one of my wife's favorite things. She was a biology teacher, and so, uh, she really liked going out and seeing all the animals in their natural environment and all that type of stuff. So that was super cool. Saw a bunch of crocodiles too. So I highly recommend the boat tour. It's fairly inexpensive uh, for what you get. Then you have the bathroom here. Nice big bathroom right here. I'm pretty sure though that we got a handicapped room. So I think like doorways might be a little bit wider. They may have more accessible areas. So everything might be a little bit bigger. We didn't ask for it, they just gave it to us, so we're not gonna complain about that. We got a nice, good Kohler toilet right here. This thing works really well, flushes nicely. And you have a nice Kohler sink right there as well. You got a nice big swan neck, so if you need to get something kind of big in here, you can. You got good water pressure coming out of it right there, both hot and cold. Got a nice big mirror right here. Hey guys, how's it going? And uh, plenty of towels and linens and whatnot that you might need to change out. This, like I said, the, since this is a handicapped uh, bathroom, I'm pretty sure that this is a bigger uh, shower area right here. It's got the bar going all the way around. It's also nice that you have this uh, little step stool, or not step stool, bench area you can fold down and sit on. Also great for lady shaving. Whenever I'm washing, I like to stick my leg up on this and I can like wash my leg really good. Um, so definitely like that they have that built into this one. And then you have the shower head right there that's on the handles. You can easily, you know, shower everything. Hot water was hot, cold water was cold. Let me go ahead and turn on the water for you guys so y'all can see a look at what you get. Nice pressure coming out, out of the shower head right there. And then it has a few other settings. I'll go through them real quick. You have an off. You have this like super high powered in the middle type of thing. You have kind of like this, like an almost rain setting right there. It's not quite because it's a little more pressurized. And you have this one right there. And then this one was my favorite right there. Good mid mix of pressure in the middle and on the side. So. Definitely enjoyed the shower that I took in there. And then they also have a bunch of, uh, you know, all the little soaps and whatnot that you get. This one's in the shape of a, like a little teardrop or a leaf or something like that, which I thought was fun since you're staying in the state park here. Super cool. And then my wife wanted me to mention these to you guys. These, you know, you see these things in all the hotels nowadays, but with these, you can simply hold down the button and the stuff's gonna keep coming out until you let go. So. My wife has like a ton of long, thick hair, so she uses a lot of conditioner. And so she can, you know, not have to sit there and pump it. She just simply presses and it just keeps coming out, which was super nice. So she definitely wanted me to tell you guys about that. Um, now, whenever it comes to the Wi-Fi here, I was very skeptical because I had like one bar, I'm on AT&T and there was no service, I could barely do anything. So I connected to the Wi-Fi and I did a speed test here. I was so surprised. I got 50 up, uh, no, 50 down and 40 up. So I, I don't know if they're on some kind of fiber network here or something, but it was awesome. You'll notice that there is no TV in here as well, and that's because you're gonna be doing a lot of stuff downstairs. There's so much to do in this place because there's the springs, there's the soda fountain, uh, there's hiking trails, just all kinds of amazing stuff. So if you guys actually wanna see some of those other amenities like the, uh, the diving board and all that, I did a video two years ago here showing all the outside stuff. I'm gonna put that right there on the screen. You guys have to go and click that video. Definitely go and do that right now. Thank y'all for watching. Go travel somewhere and dad out.